I'd like to explain to you the differences between a polypropylene rash vest and a normal spandex rash vest and how it can affect how it keeps, they keep you warm or cold. Fundamentally, our polypropylene rash vest is naturally hydrophobic, which means if I pour a bit of water on it now, you'll see that the water just runs off it. It's not, the water is not attracted to it. In fact, we might need a chemistry lesson. I'm sure my wife's going to put me right on here, but water is a dipole and the oxygen atom pinches the two electrons, the two hydrogen atoms. As far as I'm concerned, it lays a great tea party for them. And so we have a nice great time in the oxygen atom and the poor old two hydrogen atoms on their own have got no other electrons at all and they're on their own, they're positively charged. And they are desperately seeking any other electrons to have a good old look at, which is why water tends to stick to itself because it likes looking at the electrons having a tea party in the oxygen molecule next to them. So this is why water behaves rather differently. And it, this is why water tends to want to bond to anything that has lone pairs of electrons. And polypropylene has no lone pairs of electrons. Spandex, on the other hand, has got lone pairs of electrons. And so when you pour water on spandex, it tends to spread out. And when it spreads out, it, make, it just spreads out everywhere because the old water's going, great, there's some fantastic looking electrons around here. Let's go and have a good look at them. And that's why the water sticks to the spandex and why when you're sailing a dinghy or whatever, paddling a canoe or whatever, and the water hits you, the water goes everywhere around you and you feel cold. It's fantastic if you're sailing in Savannah in 40 degrees. It's not so good if you're sailing in UK in 10 degrees. And you've got to realise that there's a balance when you should use the spandex. Spandex is a fantastic product to keep you cool. You can overdress with spandex on and you won't overheat, perhaps. It will help you keep cool. Whereas polypropylene is fantastic at helping you keep warm and drive the moisture away because the water doesn't want to be anywhere near polypropylene. It's not really interested in it. Give the water something more attractive to go and see, like some nylon somewhere. The water will go, oh, it's nylon over here. Let's go and look at that. Leaving the polypropylene to be dry, which means you feel dry. Our polypropylene is brushed just to make it even more comfortable and give it some more thermal properties. And we use polypropylene in a wide range of products for the water sports products. So we have you know, polypro balaclavis, polypro headbands, polypro tops, polypro legs, polypro socks, polypro gloves. Even down to the polypro gloves, just wearing a pair of polypro gloves under what you'd normally wear in the summer can, can almost do you through the winter. Fantastic product. And the unique thing about polypro, it's not hydrophobic because it's got some sort of Teflon rinse that will wash out in 30 washes. It's constantly hydrophobic because it is because there's no lone pairs of electrons in polypropylene. You do have to be careful with it. Don't tumble dry it, because it will just kind of shrink really quickly. Dry air dry it. In fact, after you've span it or washed it on a cold wash and then you spin it, just leave it to air dry. After a spin, it's almost where it will straight away. So a great product for those people sailing in colder climates, or even as a product on its own in a warm climate. I've seen Nick Thompson win his world championships last year wearing a polypro top in warm climates. So obviously he found it, it was just the right amount of um, comfort he needed. If the water hit him, he didn't go all over like he would in spandex. He was quite happy that he could wear his polypro and just the water would fall off him. Perhaps it makes it lighter too. Anyway, if you've got any other, prob any other questions to, to ask of our customer services team, they're eagerly waiting on the telephones as we speak or ready to read your emails if you're watching this video in the evening time. You know, our customer service team are ready to help you and give you the best advice we can to get you on the water enjoying yourself.